What's up guys? 370 Gaming here. And if you're a longtime viewer of my channel and, and all the series I do, and you know exactly how TEW 2016 and the whole series works, this video is not for you. <laughs> this video is uh, for the people that have asked me questions over my months and months of doing series. Uh, anything from where do I get the game, how do I install the game, to uh, how do I get the WWE guys on there, how do I do the mods, you know, where do I get the mods, uh, anything like that. I'm hoping that any questions uh, in the future or the present, uh, you know, that you guys may have, uh, I can point you to this video and you should be able to uh, figure it out from there, you know what I mean? I'm hoping that this can be a general resource for the TEW community if you're new to the series, you're new to the game, uh, so it can kind of help you get along the the right track, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm usually not the guy to come to for tutorial services, but I hope to be uh, this time around. <laughs> uh, so uh, with that being said, there will be timestamps in the description. You can check out down below. Uh, so if, for example, if you know where the game is and you have it, you installed it, uh, but you don't know where the mods are, or you have the mods but you don't know how to install them. Uh, you should be able to skip to each part of the video and uh, go watch that part specifically. So, uh, without any further ado, let's go to the first part. Alright guys, here we are at the Grey Dog Software page, uh, the company that uh, TEW is under, Total Extreme Wrestling Series. Uh, this is where you can buy uh, TEW 2016 in the first place. If you don't want to buy TEW 2016, uh, if the price is a little much, you can buy a discounted version, as you can see down here, uh, 2013, 2010, uh, 2008, 2007. Also, uh, 2005, TEW 2005 is a free version, so if you want to uh, check it out and maybe get an idea of what, for example, 2016 is like, uh, you can download TEW 2005 completely for free and uh, check that out. But uh, for this tutorial purpose, we're going to go to TEW 2016. And uh, you can also get the demo. If you haven't seen my demo video, uh, that will also be in the link where I give the first impressions of the demo. The demo is basically the whole game, but you can only play it for, I believe it's two or three months from, from January. So it's I believe it's either after February or after March you can't play anymore. So the demo is just about two or three months in-game. Uh, without the ability to go further. But of course, you go with a purchase. Now, being that I already have the game, uh, I'm not going to go through the actual installation with you. Uh, as you can see here, you can download the program, you can execute it, you know. It'll give you instructions as you go along. I shouldn't have to like walk you through that. So, once that's installed, we can start looking at uh, the game itself and getting mods on it. So, this is where you would go to purchase the game. I do want to mention something that uh, I didn't go over uh, just then. <laughs> uh, TEW, the whole series, runs on this e-license uh, platform. So the really important thing about the e-license platform is it can only be on one computer at a time. So for example, if you're on the computer you're, you want to buy TEW 2016 on right now, uh, you're going to install it and have the license on that one computer and you cannot transfer it to other uh, devices, other platforms, other laptops you may have or, or, or what have you. Uh, you can, you can get it transferred, but uh, transferring the license, uninstalling, then reinstalling the license essentially uh, is a huge hassle, really, really big hassle. Uh, I definitely recommend you choosing the one place you want to play TEW most of the time and just installing it there. Uh, the C-license system is not my favorite uh, way to do business, but it's how it's done, so you're, you're going to have to unfortunately get used to that. <laughs> but I do want you very much to be aware of this uh, if you are new and you have not yet installed the game, that uh, choose one place and uh, stick with it here. Alright, so once you have the game, uh, you might be thinking to yourself, how do I get the WWE guys on there? How do I get the real life people on there? Uh, the thing is about the game, uh, the creator, Adam Ryland, uh, cannot legally use any uh, names or likenesses or anything of uh, real-life people because, you know, that's copyright. You can't do that. Uh, what he has done in the first place has uh, made the Cornellverse, a fictional universe uh, that has all kinds of different companies and workers, and it's really, really cool and really highly detailed, like surprisingly detailed. Uh, he's put a lot of work into this, and I definitely recommend you guys don't... Uh, 
you know, poo-poo it, put it to the side. You're like, I just want the WWE guys. Like, if you're interested in the game, Cornellverse is a really good place to start, a really good place to check out how, the you know, the inner workings of the game. Uh, but that being said, we're going to try to uh, tell you how to get the WWE guys, how to get everything working the way you want it to. So the best place to start for mods uh, for TEW 2016 is the Greydog Software forum page. Uh, you go to the Greydog Software, then TEW 2016 section, uh, TEW 2016 mods. So here, all of the mod makers that put all their hard work into creating up-to-date mods, and even mods for the past, like you can see here for the uh, Ruthless Aggression Era, 24, uh, 2004, excuse me, uh, things like custom skins will all be located here. Another good area for mods is the EW Warehouse website, uh, but uh, not too many TEW 2016 mods because it's pretty recent, but if you have an older version of the game, they have a huge mod index. For example, if you go to TEW 2013, uh, you have all kinds of uh, real-world update mods, uh, all, all kinds of stuff, all, the, all kinds of stuff you could want in an easier uh, location than this. Now. The Greydog Software forum page will have all kinds of mods, anything you want for all years, but it's a little hard to search through. If you want an easier uh, organization, EW Warehouse is definitely the place to go. Uh, for our purposes today, we'll be using the Who87's July 2016 data. Uh, it's pretty recent data. Uh, I am recording this July 7th, 2016, uh, one day before my uh, 800 subscriber celebration live stream, and we're going to do a brand split with Raw and SmackDown, the current roster, so we need the most current, up-to-date data we can. And so July 2016, pretty recent here, you can see the also the previous uh, June 2016 release, and uh, the Who87 is one of those reputable guys that's always putting in the work every single month to update us on uh, the current stuff, so shout out to who shout out to the who man <laughs> but uh yeah you got the database the graphics and the workers you'll download all three of those as you can see here when you click one you'll have the media fire link for all of them there'll be a quick download uh i did download all of them already as you can see down here so let's uh, get to how to install them all right so for installing the game what you're going to do is go to edit the uh the little database section here the little hammer the little editor and uh, what you're going to want to do is create the database. So we'll name it July 2016, because that's the one we're doing. Uh, you can't have spaces, you can't use anything but letters and numbers, things like that. So to create a folder uh, in your TEW install location, <clears throat> the new database has been created and switched to. So now, uh, what we'll do is probably close that out. I, yeah, it's probably best to close it out. I was going to say, well, you don't have to close it out. You probably should close it out. So now that we've created the database, uh, what you'll do is go to where the game is installed. It should be in your Program Files folder. For me, it's uh, Program Files 86, wh whatever you may have, however your setup is. C Drive, Program Files, GDS, Greydog Software, and uh, you'll go to TEW 2016. Go to Databases, and then the database we just made, which was July 2016. Uh, this will be your save games and your main data, so what you'll do is you'll take the original, the first file, the TEW 16 July 2016 update file, uh, open the default folder, and just drag everything into there. Just merge it all, replace it all, whatever you gotta do, put that there, and you're done with that. So now all the main data, the main information is now installed. So now you want to install the pictures. So what you'll do for that is go back to the TEW 2016 folder, Go to Pictures, July 2016, because every database has its own picture folder you can go to. And here you'll have all the pictures available, uh, banners, belts, broadcasters, events, logos, people, random TV. Uh, one, random is not like used. Like If you don't see random anywhere, like don't, don't worry about it. Uh, random is just there basically for uh, random stuff, whatever you want. So for example, when we go to the picture pack here, graphics pack, uh, so that's that's two different things. Let me let me let me say graphics pack and picture pack. We're gonna go over the pictures in a second. We're going over the graphics first. So we have all kinds of custom banners, belts, broadcasters, events, loading screens, which was new to me even when I downloaded this. So uh, you might want to separate the loading screen. We'll we'll just we'll delete it after this uh, for the sake of this tutorial. What you'll do is you'll take everything, just drag it, just replace all the folders, all the stuff. 
Um, I did forget how long this takes, so we'll see. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, the people is where it's going to take a long time because these these mods are so in depth with detail that they have every every worker you can think of from all around the world. If a worker is well known enough to have a picture, they're going to have it to to go in there. So right now we're just going to get the basic graphics there, and uh, yeah, it does take quite a while because most of the major companies have banners, have mi several belts, uh, things like that. You'll just do yep. Yep, you just do that for all current items. Just merge all the folders. And it looks like this is going to take a while, so I'll just cut to uh, when it's done. Alright, so now that that's done, you can close out the graphics pack. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to delete the loading screens folder. Uh, it's up to you if you want to keep it or not. I don't think that's going to damage the integrity of the file or anything. Uh, very unlikely. But now the game has updated graphics for everybody except the workers. Uh, we have... As you can see here, all the banners for everybody, WWE, things like that, NXT, well, well default NXT one, that's fine, but uh, TV logos, uh, things of that variety. It all depends on the mod maker you get it from, what you'll have. Uh, you can always make your own custom pictures and put them in the folders, but uh, yeah. So now the hard part, which is people. Now that's what the third file is, is the worker pack. And people is always a huge, huge, huge folder of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So as you'll see here, when I drag it, it's going to go through a lot of people. We're only in the A's. We're in the B's now. Uh, it's going to take quite a while. So I'll just cut to you when it's done extracting. But you'll do the same thing. You'll drag it over, replace the people folder with this people folder, merge it all together, and uh, that'll, that'll be it for that. Alright, so the major hard part's done with, the people. Uh, it took a couple minutes, not not that bad, but uh, not good enough to just leave here uh, for all uh, <laughs> different things. Uh, so as you can see here, any person that has ever, you know, that has ever worked in the, main st in the public eye that anybody knows uh, usually ends up in these mods. Uh, everybody from A to Z... Uh, some people, for example, let's look at Brock Lesnar, he's got, you know, six different options. Uh, depending on the mod you download, uh, there'll be all kinds of different stuff. For example, if you download a 2002 mod, uh, you know, you'll get like a younger Brock Lesnar like that one usually, uh, and not the older ones, so it all depends. This is the current one, uh, current data set, so it'll be mostly current looking people with a couple of alternate things. Uh, CM Punk, all his current, all of his, uh, not current, uh, alternate looks, you know, <laughs> alternative looks, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's that, and, uh, yeah, so now we have all the graphics for TEW 2016. So now what you'll do, you'll go back, load it up, always run an administrator, because that's just a good idea, regardless of what Windows OS you got, or, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever you got going on. So now, make sure... A, you're selected on the July 2016 database, and then what you'll do really quick, uh, go into the database editor, edit database, database info, and make sure the picture folder is on the one you want it to be. Uh, it always is on default, by default, so uh, July 2016. Alright, so now that we have that going, let's make a new game and test it out, see if it works. Uh, if you did everything uh, right, and if I told you everything correctly, this should be good. There shouldn't be any, uh, as long as the mod makers didn't overlook something, uh, you know, things of that variety. It's going to be checked for errors before you make a brand new game. Any inconsistencies, things of that variety. And, uh, yeah, we're good to go. So, we will make this uh, tutorial game, because, you know, why not? And uh, also, so here's another thing. When you load up the whole world with all the countries, that's going to take longer. Uh, so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go just USA, just to get everything moving at a swift pace. But if you want, you can have the whole world, obviously. That's the most fun. And uh, have all kinds of different workers and, and companies and people. So we'll make a new game. And then it's going to remove all the people that aren't in the U.S., all the things that aren't in the U.S., and then uh, add uh, the U.S. people, make sure everything that's there and everything is going smoothly, 
And yeah, so uh, I'm just going to cut to when it's done because this will take a couple of minutes. Alright, so now you've got a brand new game with the current up-to-date information. You can look at all the people, all the stats, all the stuff. Uh, just to just to start, we'll start with Vince McMahon. And now you can play with all the regular uh, pictures, all the regular stuff. If you want to be WWE, you got all the WWE pictures. You can go through the roster here. You can see everybody. You got everybody there. One more thing before I do forget. Uh, we'll go back to the main screen here. If you go to the EW Warehouse website and you want to convert a 2013 mod to 2016, uh, what you could do here is go ahead and check out the converter. Uh, this will tell you exactly what you need to do. I'm not going to walk you through like step by step because you know it's pretty, pretty simple. You can you know create a new database, put the TEW 2013 database in the 2016 databases folder you have created, and uh, then it will appear in this list below. You can highlight it, press convert, you're good to go. Uh, not you know the most crazy thing, but I did want to go over it before uh, wrapping up here. So I do thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any other questions about the game, how it works, what else you need to figure out, you let me know in the comments down below. But if I've helped you out, and if uh, you know you took anything from this video, please do drop a like and uh, subscribe for more TEW content in the future. And uh, that's all for now, guys. I'll talk to you later.